Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and if you want to learn how to create cross-platform desktop apps, then this tutorial is for you. So there's this awesome platform called Electron and many of you may have already heard of it, or I hope you have, um, that allows you to create desktop apps using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So we are going to use Electron to create our cross-platform apps. Now there are many starter templates that you can find uh, for Electron on the internet doing a quick Google search, but the one that I found the easiest and the fastest for rapid development is this Electron uh, View Webpack that you can find on GitHub. Now this allows you to uh, create a web application and convert it to a desktop application relatively quickly. So basically, if you're a web developer and you are uh, familiar with view apps, you can create a uh, web app with your normal development process and then take that app, insert it into Electron, and wham bam, thank you ma'am, you got your desktop app. Now the first thing we're gonna do is scroll down to the install section here and go ahead and copy this git uh, text here. I am going to go ahead and open a Visual Studio Code because that's where I have a terminal opened up. So we're going to go ahead and paste this line in here and that will create a folder on our desktop called Electron View Webpack. Next I'm going to go ahead and open up that specific folder with uh, Visual Studio Code so I'm in that directory in my terminal. Um, and we are going to npm install all the dependencies that view webpack requires now once all those dependencies are installed we can go ahead and test it by doing npm uh, run dev and this will allow webpack to start watching our files and stuff like that and then we will open up a new terminal here and do npm start and this should bring up our application and there you go now this isn't the desktop app yet. This is just uh, our application running in Node. Um, and as you can see here, we have an app folder here with an index uh, that's pretty blank and a basic view app. And so let's go ahead and edit a few of these files so we can make it our own. Now I'm not gonna get all technical with this. All I wanna do is basically make the app my own. Uh, but the purpose of this tutorial is to show how to deploy a desktop app. Uh, so basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, the app section here, uh, go to the body, create a new background color, and I don't know, I'm going to make it my own background color and save that. The cool thing about Webpack is that it goes ahead and hot reloads it, so anytime you change anything to the HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, it automatically uh, refreshes your app here so you can uh, check it out in real time. The next thing we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of all this. You do have to uh, live, leave a div tag in here. I'm going to just keep the hello o, uh, component here and save that. Double check that now we just got hello view here. We'll go into the hello view and actually I'm going to add an image uh, to our project. So. I'm gonna just, I have my logo here. We'll go to source assets and go ahead and drop this image in there. So let's get back to our app. Um, I'm gonna resize this so we can kind of see everything as we adjust it. Let's make this as big as I can here. Um, so let's go to our hello component. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of this message and we'll replace it with an image and we can put the source in as assets uh, b logo.png go ahead and save that oh, it's a little too big there by the looks of it so let's go down to our style here do image since it's scoped it's only gonna affect this component um, so we can do height um, Let's do 400 pixels and width uh, 400 pixels and save that and see how that looks. That looks pretty good. So let's add one more piece of functionality, just something that when we click the image, it prompts us or alerts us to something. Uh, so we can do at click equals prompt. And then we can implement a method here. Uh, let's do methods 
and then prompt and just do something like alert Ooh, I don't like the double quotations we did it so if we go ahead and save it and we click on our image here we do get the alert as we expect and so that'll be it for the app itself. I know there's really no functionality to it and that's not the point of this tutorial. It's to create a desktop app. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now once we have our app completed, we need to build it into a desktop app. And to do that, we're gonna use Electron Builder. You can find it at GitHub. And uh, basically we're gonna kind of follow the installation here, but not perfectly. It says to use uh, Yarn instead of NPM. I found that for our purposes it works with npm but you may want to evaluate that uh, when you're using your application so we're going to just npm install save dev electron builder down here in our terminal uh, go ahead and install that now once that's done installing we have a few more steps in our quick setup guide here we're going to copy these lines of code and put it in our package.json file um, this is if you're targeting a mac but we are going to be targeting windows we are going to remove this line and put uh, target and portable. Now there are a couple options here. You can find it in the documentation. You can see all the options here and go through it. But I'm gonna basically just uh, make this super simple. We are targeting a portable version, which means that you it's going to uh, give an exe file that launches the app immediately. You can also do NSIS, I believe, which actually deploys a executable that installs your application uh, to the machine itself. Um, and it's up to you which one you want to use. Uh, various applications will require various different things. Uh, but for our case, portable will work just fine. Now there's a couple more lines of text we need to copy. We're going to copy these scripts to our package.json file. We will put them right here make it cleaner go ahead and save that now we could go ahead and run the application right now uh, using npm run dist but basically when the application runs there's gonna be an error you can try that if you don't believe me and the error comes from this electron reload here and basically what we want to do is we only want to do this if um, we're in no development mode. So uh, we don't need a hot reload of the application when we save a file if it's the actual deployment of that file. So let's go ahead and change. So in the interest of saving time, I've already copied and I'm gonna just paste uh, my edit here. Basically it's just, um, if the process is a development mode, then go ahead and do the hot reloading. Otherwise, don't worry about it. So let's go ahead and save that and deploy our app with npm run dist and go ahead and let that do its thing. So once it's done uh, building, you can go ahead and close Visual Studio Code or whatever uh, you're using. We're gonna go ahead and open up our folder here and there is a new uh, folder inside called distribution that was created by our build. Um, and we have an exe file in here, Electron View Webpack. Now you could have changed this name at any time, um, but we'll just leave it as it is. Let's go ahead and double click on it. It looks like it's an installation uh, icon, but just we didn't set an icon. Um, so you can go ahead and open it up and we have our exe file running on Windows. Now we click on it and we freaking did it. Now uh, you can just as easily deploy this uh, to Mac or Linux if you go to Electron Build and look through the documentation for how you set up that uh, package.json file for Windows or Linux and you have a multi-platform desktop uh, application. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. We did that in just a relatively short amount of time. Um, so you'll have to build your own app and you know that's gonna be the meat and bones, but this relatively takes a web application and converts it to a native uh, desktop application relatively simply and quickly. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description below to uh, my new Discord server if you're interested in joining me. You can ask questions there. It's going to be a new community that I'm setting up. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.